Good morning. Today is August 31st. It is time for fall planting and I'm going to do a quick inventory walkthrough video for you all. We have lots of early glow strawberries left. Those strawberries are a great uh, fall planting opportunity. You get strawberries next spring. Um, we have just a couple uh, triple crown blackberries and one little cotto blackberry left there. Um, so, um, a decent amount of the Virginia native wild strawberries. Uh, Joan Jay, thornless fall bearing red raspberry. Lots of those and quarts and gallons. Jewel black raspberries, mostly just, uh, looks like only uh, gallons left of those. Gallons are 16, quarts are 8 um, for all of these non-grafted plants. Um, and yellow raspberry, that's one that we haven't had in stock for a while. Um, we've got a, uh, several quarts of those for $8. AAC Eden red raspberry. Um, those are a great summer bearing uh, thornless red raspberry. Um, royalty purple raspberries, plenty of those. Quarts and gallons, my favorite uh, red raspberry, purple raspberry, um, a few jewel standard strawberries there. Uh, we have a ton of nice elderberries in stock again. Bob Gordon, Wildwood, a few Ranch, a few Marge. Marge is a European American hybrid. Um, and then gallons of Wildwood and um, Berry Hill, which is a new variety that we haven't carried before. And around this side, we have um, a nice flat of Patriot uh, blueberries, Aurora in gallon pots, blue crop in gallon pots, um, a few early blue in the quartz there, some Elliot, Blue Ray, Patriot, Berkeley, um, a lot of nice uh, three inch pots of Blue Ray. Um, the three inch pots are just $4. Um, some early blue Patriot Berkeley in St. Cloud in that size as well. Oh, we have some fun little uh, succulent planters here. Bedpan succulent planters, hen and chicks uh, for 28 A nice variety of antique bedpans there. And um, a little bird cage. We've got some of these um, uh, red Pink, dark pink blooming uh, ever-bearing strawberries in those as well. A uh, couple um, jewels, Nanking bush cherries, some of the regular uh, red Nanking bush cherries and quartz. Um, a couple black goji berries, one big life goji left. Uh, we have one Kalinka high bush cranberry and one Phillips a little guy there. Um, we have more of the Phillips highbush cranberry in the back that are about ready to go. Um, some two gallon um, aronia black chokeberry. Uh, some one gallon aronia Mackenzie Nero Viking and we we actually have a ton of all of those in quart pots that are just on the back because I didn't have room on the table here. Um, Viking, Nero, Mackenzie, all in quartz. All right. Oh, the uh, these are almost ready to go. They still have their not for sale sticker on them, but um, this is a fun little one, the emerald carpet raspberry. Uh, they don't really fruit. I mean, once every 10 years you might get a berry, <laughs> but they uh, make a really pretty ground cover. Um, uh, the Topaz St. John's wort, not quite ready to go yet, but will be soon. Uh, sensitive fern, um, and some uh, little gold star Rudbeckia that are, they're just about done blooming. Um, some golden seal, we've got a golden seal in quartz again. Um, Eastern Red Columbine and Quartz, 
uh, purple Japanese Mitsubu pars parsley, a few celadine poppy, they're still pretty small and going dormant, well, sort of coming out of their summer dormancy now. Um, ostrich ferns in quarts and gallons. I should try and move a little faster here. Let's see. Uh, Myoga ginger. We actually have a bunch of this Myoga ginger down on the 50% off clearance table. Uh, Virginia mountain mint, native mountain mint, and then a big leaf mountain mint. Um, uh, yeah, there's a tag for that big leaf mountain mint. Um, gray cat mint is a great pollinator attractor. Uh, Kentucky kernel mint. Um, we have some rosemary that will be ready to go next year. Um, you don't want to plant that this fall yet. It's not hardy enough to attempt to overwinter it here. Um, purple chives. Himalayan silver mint. Candied mint. Candied fruit mint. Um, some swamp milkweed that's looking pretty sad. <laughs> uh, some big top horseradish. More myoga ginger. Uh, a few dwarf irises that I would wait on those until next year. Um, uh, a few, if you have a greenhouse, we have a few uh, subtropicals here. Um, including pomegranates, which will survive uh, below ground in our climate sometimes above ground. Uh, bananas, turmeric, ginger, that sort of thing. All right, laterula, lots of figs. Okay, here we're at the figs. Uh, Marseille Black VS, Magbar, Chicago Hardy, Nero, um, Brooklyn Dark, Magnolia, LSU Gold, Brooklyn White, um, Sunfire, Syrian Dark, Laterula. Alright, and then we have a few smaller mulberry trees here. And we have larger ones down on the concrete pad. Uh, we've got some red mulberries, red mulberry seedlings. Those, we don't know whether they're male or female. And then a bunch of grafted and cutting propagated ones here. Uh, one Italian left. The, uh, Two gallons on these are 28, one gallons are 20. Um, some Illinois Everbearing, another, uh, so the, the seedlings, the red mulberry seedlings are just 16 in this size, but the grafted and cutting grown ones are uh, 20. Um, these are not quite ready to go yet, but we do have a whole bunch of Illinois Everbearing, Shangri-La, and Viola's Lavender cuttings that will be ready to go next spring. Uh, some compact oregano, Arum Gold Creeping Oregano, one little witch hazel left there, some sage, uh, cat mint, or catnip, actually, um, some bergamot, the native wild bergamot. Um, some yarrow. Oh, the, uh, another, uh, flowering raspberry, ornamental raspberry native. Um, the purple flowering, uh, Rubus odoratus. Um, which gets to be a pretty large shrub and doesn't really make significant fruit, but it is, uh, really pretty, uh, ornamental native shrub, some sweet grass, lemon balm, citronella balm, sorbo red oregano, um, wild ginger, and down here to the tree table, um, got some Geneva crab apples, so the, the two gallon pots here are 34, um, uh, Arkansas Black. These are all semi-dwarf apples. Molly's Delicious. Um, more Molly's Delicious. A uh, couple Liberty on dwarf root stock. Let's go around to the other side. Uh, 
Everything's sort of all mixed up down here, but uh, we've got some red free dwarf apples, um, aspara, uh, sour cherry. These guys are all still on the small side. CKUL, that's a sour cherry. Um, North Star, uh, more red free semi dwarf apples. We've got a nice amount of carmine jewel. Um, sour cherries, still really small guys, but they'll be a nice size next spring. Um, Sumadinka sour cherries, Montmorency sour cherries, uh, Sam sweet cherries, Sandra Rose sweet cherry, Danube sour cherry, um, some Liberty uh, Dwarf apples. And uh, a couple more North Star South Cherries back there. Sour Cherries back there. All right. Let's go around to the other side here of the fruit trees. Korean Giant Pears. These are all two-gallon pots for 34. Um, there are a few four-gallons mixed in here and there. Those are 45. Uh, okay, we've got some Shinsiki, Kiefer, Magnus, Sunrise, Honey Sweet, Potomac, um, Shenandoah, um, HRS, I'm drawing a blank on that one, um, Harrow Sweet. Uh, a couple uh, Chinese raisin trees, one uh, purple leaf peach left there, and then the we've got a bunch of nice four gallon size peaches for 45. Um, Harrow Diamond, Reliance, I think these are all those. There might be a couple other varieties in there, but I won't take the time right now. We have one nice apricot left. Um, oh, HL, what is that? Um, Harlane. Um, and then some nicer uh, two-gallon mulberries down here. Uh, Lucille, um, GH1, Illinois Everbearing, uh, Korean Kakuso, and... Miss Kim. There's a really nice big Miss Kim in a two gallon in a four gallon pot there uh, for 45. And some larger uh, Chicago Hardy figs. Making some nice figs there. Um, the two gallon size on those is 28. Um, a two gallon Harrow Diamond peach. And I think do we have yeah, those, we've got three Harrow Diamond Peaches right there. Um, and some more apples. What do we have? A uh, chestnut crab. Um, oh, all the labels are on the other side. So it's still mo mostly the varieties that I already listed off for you. Um, and then in the uh, four gallon size apples, we have Liberty on semi dwarf and dwarf fruit stock. Um, uh, Molly is delicious on semi dwarf. And I think there's some, there might be some Arkansas black left. I think there's one or two. Anyways. All right, let's get over here to the pond section. We have some corkscrew rush, um, some horsetail rush, looking really nice there. Uh, I'll go around to the other side for those. Um, some different irises, the iris versicolor, and a few copper irises. We've got some nice um, uh, scarlet rose mallow there in the gallon pots, uh, some marshmallows in 
um, quart pots, uh, the pickerel weed in quart pots, some achira, which can be grown in dry ground as well as water in gallon pots, lobelia, the great blue lobelia, as well as the cardinal flower, the red one, um, some uh, pink spider warts, blue spider warts, some more swamp milkweed, soft stem bulrush, more of the corkscrew rush, and blue arrows rush. Um, and soft rush. And then on this side, we've got uh, the um, duck potato or broadleafed arrowhead. I've got just a few quarts of those left. Those are one of my favorites. Um, a decent amount of sweet flag, both the native um, green sweet flag and some uh, variegated sweet flag in there and more pickerel weed, lots of this uh, lizard's tail. There's one of the pickerel weeds uh, getting ready to bloom. They're definitely one of my favorites. And we have some of the, the native um, uh, fairy moss or azola uh, that we're selling by the handful for four dollars a handful. We're a little bit lower on that now than we were earlier this summer. Um, yeah, we've got some nice American um, lotus here for thirty thirty four dollars a pot. They're pretty big pots. Um, and just a couple. I wish they're not. Quite my flowers have, older flowers of these have closed, but um, this pretty variegated water lily, this is Wanvisa, I've just got two of those available for sale um, for $34 a piece. All right, uh, clearance table. Um, we've got an unknown red currant there that was supposed to be consort black currant. Um, some Myoga ginger, a uh, few hybrid poplars, some uh, Persian walnuts, or also known as English walnuts. We've got those in gallons and two gallons, and maybe, yeah, I guess that's the biggest. We've got some pretty big two gallon pots of that over there. Uh, we still have a lot of nanny berries in both four gallons and two gallon pots. Um, some nice big basswood in four gallon and two gallon. And there's some seedling ginkgos on the back part of the table back there somewhere, um, as well on the clearance. All right, the pawpaws, we have a few seedling pawpaws left here. Seedlings of improved varieties. Uh, seedlings are $4 for the three inch pots eight for the quarts, and uh, we don't really have any gallons right now, but they'd be 16 for the gallons. Um, we have a ton of nice grafted pawpaws that are not ready for sale yet. Uh, these were grafted a little bit later in the season, and I am a little hesitant to send them home this fall yet because the new growth may will probably be hard enough to survive winter, but it'd be a little, it's going to be a little risky. So you can probably talk Darren into selling you some of those, but I would prefer they wait until next spring. Um, again, the grafted trees are $16 in the quart size, $20 in the gallon size. Uh, we don't have any two gallons right now, these. Um, we do have a few, um, a few grafted trees from last year that are not looking so hot. They're sort of the picked over leftovers. What didn't sell this spring, honestly. Um, 
but they'll probably, you know, with a little TLC, they'll probably start looking better. But we've got some sunflower and mango are the two varieties. Oh, some Halvin Sidewinder and one Atwood. Um, but those, yeah, not looking so hot, but I think they'll come out of it. Anyways, if you really want pawpaws these fall, this fall, those probably have a better chance of surviving the winter really well than the newly grafted ones. So we have some Pixwell gooseberries, both quartz and gallons. They are just starting to come out of their summer dormancy. Um, and some candy sweet, just in the gallon size. Some jostas and quartz. Red currants, also just starting to come out of the summer dormancy here. Um, uh, Gloire de Sablon, and that's a pink currant, and Jean-Cure Ventettes is a red currant, and then an unnamed red currant. Uh, lots of nice black currants, which are my favorite. Uh, Minas Shmiryu, Tai Ben, Louis, Louis R., Nancy May, um, uh, Ben Conan, um... And then an unnamed black currant that has done really well for us over the years. And some more Tybin. Going around to this side, we have a few of the yellow groove bamboo in quartz. One two gallon pot, eh, not quartz, uh, gallons, and one two gallon pot. Uh, dappled willow, we've got a lot of nice quartz of that, as well as one gallon left. Um, the gold basket willow, a few curly basket willows, not basket, curly weeping willow. Uh, we have some yuzu, <coughs> yuzu cuttings um, that are uh, not quite ready for sale yet, but will be soon. Um, those are not quite hardy here, but if you have a good protected location or a uh, cold, what do you call it, uh, hoop house, those work well in there. Flying Dragon, Hardy Citrus, those are totally hardy here and even further north. Um, we've got gallons and some nice quarts of those. A few Tiger Tooth Jujubes, just two actually. Those are on their own roots so so that's nice. Um, some Cascade Hops. Ah, oh, lots of nice Muscadines. I love muscadines. Here is uh, Carlos, not quite ripe yet. Um, right above where the muscadines are. They will get about twice that size by the time they're ripe. They take a, they're a long season ripener. Uh, but we have Darlene, which is a female bronze type. Oh, I need to hurry up here. Okay, Carlos. In the back there, some uh, Sugargate, Summit, um, a few Nesbit, which is a self-fertile black variety, Lenoir, Canadice. So these, oh, now we're to the European grapes. Lenoir, Canadice, which is a seedless one, Reliance, a pink seedless, Mars is a black seedless, uh, lots of Concord, Steuben, more Canadice Mars, Reliance, um, a few wine grapes. Oh, this is a cool one. So we, this is a new offering for this year. We've had this in the ground for several years and um, really love it. It's a sea kale. Um, this, these are seedlings of lily white sea kale. Um, a hardy perennial kale. You can eat every part of the plant. Um, you can eat the little florets like broccoli. Um, and of course you can eat the leaves like kale. And the flowers are great too. Um, Alright, we've got lots of sunchokes here. They really want to go to homes that are larger than a quart size. Um, We've got Supernova, Nora, and Smooth Red. Uh, some wild ground nuts that are taking over the table here. Um, 
and just a few of the LSU ground nuts left. Uh, those are in quartz. We've got some Ken's Red Hardy Kiwis, and we've got a lot of nice new Hardy Kiwi cuttings that I don't want to leave here this fall just for because they're, uh, yeah, their, their new growth might not be totally winter hardy by the time it cools down this winter. But these will all be available next spring. Nice big healthy plants for you next year. But the Ken's Red in the two-gallon pots are ready to go now, and we have a ton of male kiwis in the quart pots that are ready to go. But we'll have a nice amount of acai and anna and Ken's Red and more males for you next spring. Uh, to the uh, quince, we've got some Chinese quince in quart pots. Um... Uh, some flowering quince, a Toyo Nishiki and Cameo in quartz, some Toyo Nishiki in gallons. They're not very pretty this time of year, but they'll, yeah, they, they'll, uh, get going for you pretty nicely. Okay, um, some Gold Spire Ginkgo, Jade Butterfly Ginkgo, um, in the quart size, and then, uh, Gold Spire, Salem Lady, Jade Butterfly, Eastern Star, all in gallon pots. All right, around here to the nut table. Let's come on down here. We are, we're out of heart nuts um, now and um really low on black walnuts. Oh no, the black walnuts are down there. Um, but we've got uh, some wild seedling butternuts here in gallons and um, two gallon pots. Uh, some black walnuts. These are the seedlings of improved variety. Black walnuts um, in gallon pots and two gallon pots. Uh, some, uh, seedling hickories. They're mostly in gallons. Cons of pecan in gallons and two gallons. Sorry, these are seedlings of Konza, the improved variety, and seedlings of Starkings Hardy in, just in the two gallons. Uh, Eastern hazelnuts we have in quarts. These are the native hazelnut in quarts and gallons. Um, Yam Hill and Jefferson European hazelnut seedlings in gallons. Uh, a lot of Chinese chestnuts. They're seedlings of improved varieties in gallons and two gallon pots. A lot of really nice Kentucky coffee trees in uh, gallon pots and two gallon pots. Thornless honey locust. We've got a few two gallon pots and a bunch of little three inch pots. Now the three inch pots, um, some of those might develop thorns still. The two inch pots are old enough that if they were going to, they probably would have by now. A few red bud left in gallons. Uh, some nice um, succulent and boot succulent planters. Um, those are 28. Uh, a few Siberian pea shrub in gallon pots. Some um, Morpha fruticosa, the uh, false indigo bush in quart pots. Oh, this flat is ready for sale now. These are um, uh, pink bush clover. We've got pink fountains and samadare. Um, pink bush clovers. Those are just starting to bloom right now over in the other beds. I should show you sometime. But uh, And we have some other baptisia and um, 
uh, oh, it was a seal. Related to Baptisia. I'm drawing a blank right now. Anyways, those will be ready to go for planting next spring. Um, and some uh, purple hybrid Baptisia in quartz that will be ready to go next spring. We still have plenty of ornamental clover in quart pots. And let's pause. We have a few things back here in the propagation greenhouse that will be ready to go. Now, some of them will be ready to go soon. Some I'd recommend waiting until next spring. But we have some... Um, oh, shoot. I'm drawing a blank on... Oh, Tuna sinensis, um, which is a perennial vegetable tree. You eat the shoots, they taste like beef bouillon. Um, yeah, some flame and some seedlings. That will be ready to go here in a bit. Um, those are suckers that were dug. And then, oh, we're going to have a ton of nice gummy berries. Finally, for people, those people have been asking for all season. They sell out as soon as I get any potted up and ready to go. Um, but we've got a bunch of the carmine gummies and some a uh, bunch of sweet scarlet gummies that uh, you might talk me into letting some go this fall, but I think they should probably wait until spring. Um, and some clove currant. Those will be ready to go here in a few weeks. Um, the native clove currant. We've got some spice bush taken from cuttings from male and female bushes, so we know we've got male and female for you. Um, those probably need to wait until next spring as well. And this is all just more gummies and some rootstock. Uh, oh, over here we do have... Now these probably could go to homes this fall. They're such a northern adapted plant, they shouldn't have any trouble in the winter. Um, but I'd like them to get a little bit more root growth before they do go home. But a little bit later this fall we'll have some Svetlana, Cinderella, did I say what these were even? Hascap, the uh, honeyberries. Um, Svetlana, Cinderella, Indigo Tree, Honeybee, and Pollinizers for those. Oh, some C17 also back there. And shed us. All right, I think that is everything for today. Um, happy fall, y'all.